if I was to label this video with any sort of corporate structure labeling, I would put it as probably like uh, founder and majority shareholder. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right. <laughs> if you've logged into YouTube, you're aware the war season uh, rewards have come in and it's time for another opening. We'll be opening up some six stars, though. I'm going to start off with the five stars and uh, we'll talk a little bit about my season, things like that as we go through. But we'll open up the five stars, one to kind of warm us up a little bit and then also to see how many six star shards exactly are we going to have and i'll be honest i yeah, at this moment i'm still not even sure if i'm gonna open up a featured or basics or what so let's go ahead and just do this we'll talk a little bit as we go uh if you've been following my channel for a while you know that my war season was an interesting one uh i put out a video on it that i thought like no one would watch uh, maybe a couple hundred people uh who would ask me questions on streams and i just wanted to build a point to it uh, but it ended up being an insanely watched video by my channel standards. And it seems like it really resonated uh, with a lot of folks. So, um, so yeah. So, okay. So, we've got these. Let's go ahead and open up the Max Sig Crystals now. And it resonated with a lot of people. And here's the thing is um, my real life has slowed down quite a bit. I was able to catch up on a lot of things. I am incredibly grateful. Uh, for the Alliance Relax, for um, for allowing me to go there for a little while and uh, kind of clear my head, which was great. And um, the thing is, and I'm also adjusting this because you can probably see it on my on my tag there, and I know that people will ask. Um, I have left the Alliance. Uh, I miss war. I love war for those, you know, I'm sure if you've watched my videos for a while, you know, I absolutely love the war. Uh, I don't I don't just love things that I'm great at. Uh, I am not the greatest war player, that is for sure. Uh, but I do love it, I enjoy it. And um, and I would like to try to get back to a, at least a little bit more of a competitive war. I have reached out to a few alliances, a few alliances have reached out to me. And a lot of us have had some really in-depth discussions about my priorities, my real life schedule, uh, my prioritization of my family, especially time on Saturdays and just the kind of stress that I feel uh, sometimes and a lot of that is self-induced. Uh, and so I think I'm gonna find a really great place. I think I'm gonna find a really great place. I've talked with a lot of people who've had really respectful conversations and I appreciate it a lot. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see where I end up. I think I'll know probably by the end of the weekend. So that's what that's about. And, um, and then this is it. This is my little video on that. And then now let's go ahead and get to the rest of the openings here. I'm gonna open up the tier five CC. Uh, we formed a lot. I, I don't show, I know it seems like I probably show you guys every crystal opening, but I don't. Um, I don't, and we've formed, I've formed a few uh, tier five CCs here. And I'm really excited about this one because I would love for it to be mystic or science. Really, I, and I've, I have accepted that Kabam wants me to rank up skill champions before they're buffed. I've just accepted that's what Kabam wants. There's no use in fighting it. So I'll be happy with all, honestly anything, uh, but my most desired would be mutant, mystic, and uh and science and it's because i'm very close on science and music in fact i think if i get those two uh it would it would push me over into having a tier 5 cc ready to go mystic i would be very tempted to wait for hood's buff to see what happens there's a chance he is insanely good like insanely good uh i did like the buff i, I did not like that he got changed i have a video on that if you want to watch it uh, but once I accepted that it had happened, I liked his buff a lot. And if he keeps the initial utility and the buff, uh, see, look at the skill. Oh, wow. All right, cool. So now with science, uh, I believe I am probably going to hold it for miles. Uh, they talked about how he was going to get buffed. Uh, I'm just short. So I guess I have to hold it whether I want to or not. Uh, but I think I would hold it for miles. I have a lot of options. We can go over that in another video. I don't want to, I don't like stretching out crystal videos. Here's where I'm at uh, with this. I'm actually waiting for a message. Okay, the message just came through. <laughs> I was hoping for a more firm direction uh, from DLL <laughs> on crossbones. You know, I saw Munash's video 
And uh, I really liked it. It is an amazing video. If you have not seen Munash's video on crossbones and you're curious about crossbones at all, or you don't know who Munash is, go watch Munash's video on crossbones. It is excellent. If you take anything away from this video, it's that you should watch that video of Munash, M-U-N-A-S-H, M-C-O-C, of course, uh, in the same alliance as Sweda. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I apologize. Uh, but is on crossbones is excellent. All right. The point of this is, uh, yes, I am also slightly buying time. I do love the video, though. Uh, I'm going to open one featured. Oh, man, I think this is going to lead to serious regret, though. I do not have a good feeling about this at all. <clears throat> Honestly, the, I am I am only getting this crystal for hoping to dupe Strife. I'm not even sure I like him. I think he's fine. I don't know where I would use him at all right now. I'm done with Abyss. I would love Sig levels on Immortal Abomination. That would help save me Sig uh, stones, which I do have. And uh, you know, I wouldn't mind Sig levels on Kingpin, but I, I really don't want to pay that many shards for that. So it's really Abomination. I would like Crossbones. I would like to get him. He's unique. There's a lot he can do there. Uh, again, I'm not going to repeat it all. Go watch Munash's video. And that's really almost about it. As I look through there, there's just so many misses. <clears throat> and a Silver Surfer would just hurt. It would hurt bad. Because I already have him at SIG 200. I'm glad he's in there. I'm glad people are getting the chance to try to get him. Uh, because, you know, prestige, it is important in this game. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Uh, and so those who want to up their prestige would have the ability to do that with him. So, all right, is if he, again, if you can't tell, I am totally the kid at the top of the slide who is now totally freaked out about going down the slide and uh, is holding up the line. So here we go. If you watched all of that, I hope you found it at least entertaining. Uh, all right, Immortal Abomination, Crossbones, or Strife. Ideally Strife, and then we just get the heck out of this crystal uh, for good, unless they continue to buff champions in. Here we go. Oh man, it misfires. I did not do that on purpose. There we go. And there's lots I wouldn't mind. I would not mind. You know, I'll, I'll honestly be relieved uh, with with some of these champions. Uh, and I don't even want to say their names. Just come on, Abomination, Strife, or Crossbones. All right, let's click it. All right, well, at least it wasn't Silver Surfer, huh? Look at the SIG level on this guy. <laughs> Who has a SIG 120 uh, Howard the Duck, right? I mean, why? Okay. Uh, I is I gotta just go basic. Uh, that is it is so nerve wracking. I mean, I was honestly just sitting there hoping not to get Silver Surfer. In anything would have just been excitement to not get him. Uh, and I'm the one always saying, open the crystals that give you the best chance to get the champions you want. The champions I most desire in this game right now that I don't have are, are Fury and Moldude. And, uh, and I would love to awaken my Tigra. So with I do have a Mystic Awakening gem. If we get to that point, I could use it on her. Uh, but I would wait till I took her to rank three. And so that's a bit away. I would love to just naturally awaken her and save that gem for someone else. So, um, all right, let's open up a basic. You all know who I want. There are quite a few that we want to avoid because we have them at SIG 200. I'm not going to say their names. I'm not going to say their names because then I feel like we'd, you know, we're summoning them, they would appear. Uh, so, not going to say their names. Fury, Moldude, Tigra. Here we go. Here we go. Fury, Moldude, Tigra. Come on. All right, the red one did not pop up, so my disappointment is already here. What? Oh my God! I thought the red one would pop up! I 
I honestly, uh, I always think it's weird when people on their videos are like, I did not expect this. It's like, of course you didn't expect it. What you expect, if you expect to get a champion, <laughs> that is a very uh, unusual crystal. Uh, I 100% thought there was no way he was coming because I thought the red one would pop up because I, I don't have him as a six star. Clearly, despite having a lot of experience opening crystals, um, I do not fully understand how it works. And I am not gonna worry about it now. I am not gonna worry about it. I cannot believe I've got this guy. Uh, I think he's gonna go straight to rank three. I took up, um, I took up, uh, I can't even talk, which is weird. I usually do not have trouble talking. I don't, I don't even know what to do. All I can do is sit here and play with my hair, which I'm sure you've noticed. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to see you on stream soon. Take care. Quick note, intro to this video. Uh, for those of you who have seen some of my other videos lately, I've been having a good time with my consistent viewers, uh, the crystal videos. And so I've been using terms on the thumbnails like super for when I pulled super scroll, incredible for when I pulled Hulk, unbeatable for when I pulled squirrel girl. I know she's not as famous as the other ones. Look into, just do a search for squirrel girl. See if you come across anything that describes her as unbeatable. And then the other day I put out shocking. That's it. It was just shocking in yellow letters. I pulled storm. Uh, <laughs> most of the viewers have seemingly had a really good time with that. Some folks get really upset and they think that they, I am trying to trick them into clicking the video. It's a crystal video. You don't need to trick anyone into watching it. That's just at least that's not been my experience. That being said, I have realized a few things. One, the vast majority of my viewers enjoy it. At least that's the feedback I'm getting. So I'm going to continue doing it. It's fun when it makes sense. I don't want to completely give away who's going to be in there because I know people don't like spoilers. I've also realized this though. There are some of you, many of you, who English is not your first language and I appreciate the heck out of you watching these. And if the thumbnails have confused you or misled you or you felt misled, I am sorry. That is 100% not my intention. Just wanted to get that out of the way. It's I'm gonna put that here at the end of this video. If you're still watching, that way you can see it. Uh, and I will try to keep that in mind. I'm gonna continue to try to have fun with everyone. Cause I, like I said, I've had a lot of people say they really enjoy it. I personally enjoy it. And some people, they, they're getting really upset. I think, I think maybe they, you know, they're used to, uh, with MCOC videos where it is very clear on the thumbnail and the title that there is a corporate structure to video openings. CEO means, uh, I'm not totally sure what it means, but it's clearly a good thing, especially if it has a one and a lot of zeros with a percentage uh, after it. That is that means it's good in some way, shape, or form. And then I think if you remove zeros, it becomes less good. And then you get all the way to the point where you don't actually see CEO in any of them. Uh, if I was to label this video with any sort of corporate structure labeling, I would put it as probably like uh, founder and majority shareholder. That's what I would use. I think that would get it through to everyone. Uh, and if you still feel misled by this, there's I just there's nothing I can do for you. This probably isn't the channel for you. And that's okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.